So today is all about patty gel. And if you're new here and don't know what patty gel is, patty gel is my brand of poly gel. I'm so proud of this. <laughs> I launched Patty Gel six months ago and it sold out lightning fast. I was so shocked. And now all the colors are available individually. So, you know, y'all can just get what y'all want when y'all want it. And we have clear poly gel. Yes, clear. I have been working on this for so long and this one is it. I'm excited to show y'all again. The packaging's a little different. When we first launched, it was a set. <laughs> when we first launched, it was a set and I had the three colors, which is Amethyst, Sweet Life, and So Cute. And it was all in one box. We listened to your feedback and you guys said, please make these available individually because if I run out, I wanna be able to buy it. So I got you, girl, I got you. So these are the main colors and let's not forget the clear y'all. Y'all been asking me for a clear patty gel and I was like, I'm working on it. It took a while, but we here. Let me do a quick swatch for y'all. Of course, we're gonna use the Eevee tool here. It has the spatula on one end and the brush on the other. A lot of people ask me what slip solution I use and I use 91% isopropyl alcohol. Good old alcohol works for me, so that's what I recommend. All right, so the first color here is called So Cute. And as you can see, it is a soft pink color and it has some shimmers in it. So next we got Amethyst. And this one is a jelly purple and it has gold glitter and it's just really, really cute. And then we got Sweet Life. This one was an immediate fan favorite. <laughs> this is what everybody was telling me about. This is, this is the one. So this one is a clear base and it has the iridescent flakes in it. It's just really, really pretty and shimmery. And finally, we got clear. You know, clear is clear, but the most important thing is that it is clear. <laughs> right, so let me show y'all what this one look like. Yep, clear. These are the colors side by side. I am gonna be doing nail forms today. Last time I showed the patty gel with nail tips. So this time I just wanna show you guys that it can also be done on nail forms. So let's go ahead and put these on. Oh, hmm. Okay, wait, I'm gonna go ahead and do my uh, base coat first. So with the patty gel, you do wanna use a base coat like you would with any other poly gel. So just keep that in mind. I've tried doing the patty gel with a base coat and without, and I didn't really have a problem either way. Base coat is definitely if you want your nails to last. Like you won't get any lifting. All right, we are all cured. Now I'm gonna go in and put the nail forms on. And these are just the same pink ones that I like to use. A lot of people who stumble on my videos think I'm doing Spider-Man nails when they see these. I can definitely see that. But yeah, these are the nail forms that I like. All right, so we got the nail forms on and we're gonna go in with So Cute. So let me get some off. Uh, I guess that should be enough. I'm going kind of long today. We're just gonna slap that down like so. Yes, Patty Gel. Oh, how I miss thee. <laughs> when I designed this, I wanted something that was on the thicker side because I like for my gels to be thicker. It just makes it easier to work with, I think. And you can really perfect it when you're not chasing it all around the nail, right? And as you can see that I'm just moistening my brush ever so gently. <laughs> You don't need a ton of alcohol and just lightly tap it in place. I haven't decided what shape I wanna do. Y'all think I should keep it a coffin or should I try something a little different? Mm, I'ma keep it a coffin. <laughs> Every time I be like, I'ma try something new. I just, you know, you just know when something looks good on you. <laughs> and that is what this nail shape is. It's like, it, it looks the best on me. 
And I have missed working with poly gel because I do not have to deal with any monomer smell. I don't know, I just feel like when I'm working with monomer, I'm like trying to rush because I, you know, I just don't like smelling it for a extended amount of time. When I'm working with like patty gel, I could just take my time and I don't feel rushed. I also may have to go back in with another layer because as y'all can see, the nail is gonna be just a little flat, but that's kind of the thing when you're working with nail forms. So sometimes you can't get it all done in one go and that is all right. I always do my nails just a little bit longer than what I want them to be. And then I can really crispen up that shape with the uh, nail file. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this so I can go in with my second layer. All right, let's go ahead and cure that. And you wanna cure the patty gel for 60 seconds. All right, we're nice and cured. And we're just gonna go in with a little bit more. I'm just gonna put that right there. That's okay, we're just gonna go ahead and smooth this out. But as y'all can see, this blends perfectly in with the already cured poly gel. The patty gel is just so easy to work with. Like it is just, it just takes the headache out of doing nails, honestly. All right, so I just formed the other nails off camera because, you know, it was the same process. All right, so I'm just gonna form a little nail bed area here. Little bits and bobs and stuff, so. Do y'all see how easy this is to work with? Like no camera tricks, <laughs> nothing going on here, but just some good old patty gel. I be trying to like <laughs> make this uh, smile line area without filing, but I may have to file this, so it's all right. It's gonna be so cute. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Ooh. I'm gonna stop there and I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. All right, so we got our base color laid. All right, so now we get to get to the fun part. I love encapsulating, so that is what we're about to do. Okay, so at first I wasn't too sure what I was gonna do. I was gonna do some flowers, but I didn't really like how those look. So we're gonna do butterflies and crushed uh, seashells. You're gonna just get a little bit of this out. Lightly moisten the brush. Now, because this is a clear, it is gonna be sticky. I mean, that's just, that's just the way it is. <laughs> but it's going to be clear. So, you know, that's what we want. You may have to use just a little bit more slip solution or alcohol, you know, but like I said, this is just the nature of clear. So it is what it is. <laughs> I'm gonna start with these little butterflies. I think these are so cute. And I wanted to do a blue one. I'm gonna put some shells. All right. And then I wanted to go in just with some gold. I don't know why I didn't open this up before I started, but a little dish of gold foil. Just gonna use the patty gel brush and just drop some of them randomly just in between just to give it a little sparkle. Ooh, that's gonna be cute. I'm just gonna go ahead and cure this. Cure everything in place. I do wanna give just a huge thanks to y'all. When I first launched the Patty Gel, we didn't really know how much inventory to get, so we got a lot and I was not expecting for it to sell out in 12 days. <laughs> I am just always like so overwhelmed with the amount of like support and love that y'all give me. Like I'm just here doing nails and y'all really be coming through for me. I just wanna thank y'all. Like I appreciate that so, so much. I just love the little thing we got going here with nails. Like it's, it's really fun, so. I do wanna thank y'all because if it wasn't for y'all, there would be no patty gel. <laughs> Just a big thanks for that. 
But yes, I have some exciting things coming for Patty Gel. I am so excited. Like, Patty Gel is my baby. Patty Gel is one of the kids. <laughs> so, like, I'm always thinking about, like, how can I make things better? What colors do I want to, you know, come out with? I've been testing stuff like crazy. But yeah, I know it took so long to get this, y'all. But delays happen with everything. Because trust me, I did not want to wait six months to do a restock <laughs> like that's that's not good business we're back and i am going to keep this going because i love it y'all have proven that y'all love it and we just gonna do this thing here y'all know i do not plan out my nail designs i don't be knowing what i'm about to do before i do it i should start planning that'll make things easier so yeah i didn't really know what i was doing and how this was gonna turn out but it's cute or whatever all right so now we can cure this one all right, so now it is time to encapsulate. I've been so excited about this clear. <laughs> Y'all know how much I love clear nails. And so to finally get this formulation right, it's just, it was really, really, really nice. All right. I don't ever really know how much I need, so. <laughs> We're gonna start with that. Ooh, it's so clear. <laughs> Clear, clear, clear. All right, so we're just gonna encapsulate. <laughs> ah, I don't know why I get so excited with clear nails, y'all, but oh my God, it makes me so happy. Sorry, y'all, I'm trying to keep it to where y'all can see, but then I need to see too. So let me go ahead and just get this in the crevices. Yeah, this is what I have so far. The corners here are just a little bit way too thin, so, but that's okay. I'm gonna just add some more, but we're gonna cure this so we don't have to keep messing with it. Now, is that clear or is that clear? Like, this is, this is cured. So yeah, let me go ahead and fix my shape. I know that look crazy, but I don't care how crazy it looks. <laughs> We need to make sure that the nail has the proper structure. And if you feel like your brush is sticking to it, add some more alcohol, it is all right. <laughs> I'm too excited. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. So everything is laid or padded. <laughs> so now we're just gonna go ahead and take off these nail forms. Careful, don't wanna, okay. <laughs> the baby monitor. I'm gonna have to go plug this up. We are gonna turn it off for now. All right, so I did notice that there was just a little bit of uncured gel. That typically happens when you're working on a paper form. Sometimes the light is not able to reach through. So just dip your brush in the alcohol and moisten it a little bit. And we're just gonna smooth this out. Let me take the rest of these off just to make sure everything else is cured. Okay, so the clear is cured. It's a little bit of the so cute. So if you're doing this with nail forms, there is a possibility, uh, especially if they're thicker, that you know the light won't get through. So all you have to do is just smooth it out and then cure it. And you can use clear forms if you want to. I'm not typically a fan of those. It's just because, you know, they don't really work out for me, but they may work out for you. All right, and I'm just gonna put my hand like this, you know, palm up inside the nail lamp to make sure that all of this uncured gel cures perfectly. All right, so we are fully cured and oh my goodness. Look how clear <laughs> these tips are. Now I'm just gonna take some paper towel and some alcohol and we're gonna wipe off the tacky layer and that will clog up your nail file. So we don't want that. So go ahead and just wipe. All right, so I'm just gonna grab a nail file. Because I'm grabbing a new one, I'm just going to take an old nail file and we're going to file the edges of the new file. 
so we won't cut ourselves. And the beauty with Patty Gel is that it does not take much filing. So don't go overboard. So this is after the nails have been file shaped and buffed. And ooh, look at that shape, y'all. Now we're just gonna add some embellishments and some bling. So for my middle finger, I'm gonna put this little snake charm on because I have been dying to use this. I am going to actually use some of the clear patty gel. This charm is pretty big. I think I'm gonna probably put it like that. Shouldn't need that much. We're just gonna do a little dollop like that. I didn't hit the blob of clear with my other nail. <laughs> I know y'all probably been questioning like, what's going on on this hand? These are my Sailor Moon nails. So if you did not catch the last video, go check it out, okay? <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna put this like right here. Because this charm is so big, I don't think the rhinestone glue that I like to use just for like the smaller crystals, I don't think that's gonna be enough. Go over that with my top coat. All right, we're gonna put it, I'm just gonna drop it down, okay. And then I'm gonna have to use my, oh, where are them other tweezers at? <laughs> we're gonna use these finer tweezers to kind of just put it in place. It feels, it feels like it's not gonna move though. We just make sure there isn't any top coat around the cuticles. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. For these two nails, I'm just gonna do like a little crystal border and I'm trying to find my rhinestone glue. Like I have everything kind of like in front of me. So I'm probably staring right at it and can't see it. <laughs> Don't y'all hate when that happens? Found it. All right, so we got some right there. All right, and then we're just going to... Ooh, gorgeous. Yes! Okay, going to put these crystals around the border. Ooh, this is like my favorite part. It's when the top coat and the crystals come out. Mm. It just makes my heart sing. And here is the finished look. Ooh, these turned out so, so, so cute. And do y'all see this clear? She clear. <laughs> so yeah, these are so cute. Literally. So if y'all are interested in picking up some patty gel, you can shop down below. And if you want to see more on patty gel, check out this video right here. And I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.